This is another response to mpage85. I am impressed and amazed at you mpage85. Very impressed indeed. It is not often you see someone that can combine arrogance, smugness and ignorance as perfectly as you do. I enjoy watching your videos where you sit and laugh at everyone that tries to correct you. And I find it hilarious that you are so comfortable debating this topic when you must google your answers in order to reply to me. And that you cite Wikipedia as reference material. Priceless. I guess it is time for another educational video for you. Who knows? If we keep doing this for a couple of years you might even get a basic understanding for the topic we are discussing. Are you ready for a spanking? I know I'm going to enjoy it. Here we go. The reason for this is because there's such a thing as a kinetic barrier, right? You know, you know how you went over so much about, you know, the weak bonds between the nucleotides and how it's so weak, all we need to do is increase the heat and they just separate. Well, in DNA, you, that doesn't happen. In DNA, that just doesn't happen because there's that kinetic barrier. It's stopping it from just doing it by itself. Oh, really? Let me just take five seconds to sit back and enjoy this. This is going to be so much fun for me. You are saying that you can't add heat to separate two DNA strands. Oh, really? Ever heard of PCR? PCR stands for Polymerase Chain Reaction. It is a biochemical procedure used to replicate large amount of DNA sequence. How does it work? Well, we start with a double-stranded DNA in a solution. Now this DNA strand could be up to 5,000 5, base pairs long, much longer than the 24 oligonucleotide I used in my previous example. 5,000 base pairs. And what we do is we heat it up. Yeah, that's right. We heat it up to 90 degrees Celsius. Then the two strands separate. Then we use a primer for a primer for TAC polymerase, an enzyme that then duplicates the DNA strand. Yes, without this polymerase, this reaction will not happen. But I'm we're not talking about that. I just wanted to prove to you that we can separate two DNA strands by using heat. Well, if you doubt this, you have to disprove PCR, which is used in a vast array of different fields, like mapping the human genome, DNA fingerprinting, detection of bacteria, viruses, particularly the HIV virus, diagnosis of genetic disorders, forensic science, etc. etc. Maybe we should release all those convicted felonies that got convicted on DNA evidence produced by PCR. Obviously, PCR doesn't work. The technique is obviously false. You can't separate DNA by heating it. We know this because mpage85 has googled the internet on genetic barrier. Remember, we are not talking about the 3 billion base pair long human genome which can't be replicated with enzymes, which I already told you in the last video. I'm not contesting that. We're talking about the earliest types of life here. Now, you might object and say nothing can live in 90 degrees Celsius, and therefore my point is pointless. Well, let me introduce you to my little friend. Thermus Aquaticus. He might not be able to live in 90 degrees Celsius, but he thrives at 70 degrees, and he can tolerate 80 degrees. Thermus Aquaticus is a species of bacterium that can tolerate high temperatures. It is a, the source of the heat-resistant enzyme, TAC DNA polymerase, which is used in PCR. All of its proteins are heat-resistant. Human proteins would degenerate at temperatures that, bacter that this bacteria live in. Let's speculate about abiogenesis. One theory is that life began near thermal, thermal vents in the ocean. A simple single-cell organism could follow the water streams in the ocean. Near the thermal vents, it would have been warm enough for the DNA to be able to separate, unassisted by an enzyme. As the organism follows the streams away from the heating world, it would cool down and the two strands of DNA would be able to form hydrogen bonds again. No enzyme needed? 
Now this is one speculation of Abijan, this is not a fact. Let's summarize what we have established as facts so far. Fact, DNA strands of up to 5000 base pair will separate at 90 degrees Celsius. Um, what we, this energy from the temperature will overcome the weak forces from hydrogen bonding. In water, a lot of energy is required to uh, transform water from its liquid state to its gaseous state. Uh, and this is due to the hydrogen bonding in water. Therefore, it needs an incredible amount of energy to boil water compared to other substances. And this is just because of hydrogen bonding. So, uh, a shorter DNA strand would require less energy to separate than a larger strand. So a shorter DNA strand will need less energy, a lower temperature. Feel free to contest this if you doubt this, if you think this is a straw man argument that lower temperatures um, will uh, not be able to separate DNA strand. Say it and I will spank you again. I don't think it's necessary to do it now, but if, if, it, if you really think it's necessary, I will prove that as well. Fact. Known bacteria thrive at 70 degrees Celsius, tolerate 8 degrees Celsius. Well, as my little friend remember him, um, simple organisms could tolerate even higher temperature. And why I say this is because the temperature will um, degenerate proteins, but a simpler organism will have less proteins and will therefore be able to survive at higher temperatures. Fact, enzymes are not required to separate DNA strands. Have we established this? Can we go beyond this and go to more interesting things? Can you admit that you are wrong? You basically have three options now. Either you can admit heat can separate DNA, which is so painfully obvious. Two, you can try to disprove PCR. That would be great. Try that. Or three, you can make a straw man. Pick one. The reason for this is because there's such a thing as a kinetic barrier, right? You know, you know how you went over so much about you know the weak bonds between the nucleotides and how it's so weak. All we need to do is increase the heat, and they just separate. Well, in DNA, you, that doesn't happen. In DNA, that just doesn't happen because there's that kinetic barrier. It's stopping it from just doing it by itself. Well, well, and page 85, do you care to restate that statement now? Uh, are you going to claim that uh, the DNA used in PCR is not DNA, but DNA-like or <laughs> something stupid like that? I can't still believe how you think that a uh, nucleotide is not a nucleotide. An oligonucleotide is a single-stranded DNA. If you make a double-stranded oligonucleotide, you have a DNA molecule, a sh very short DNA molecule. It, it is that simple. I'm really looking forward to see what you're going to Google up in response to PCR and uh, the fact that we can separate uh, DNA without enzymes by just uh, simply by adding heat. It, it is that simple. Now, we have been talking a lot of, about PCR in this video and uh, time is running out here. So, well, I'm going to give you a nickname. I'm going to call you PIDS. Which, which is an homage to Thunderfoot and his uh, debates with one of things X. PIDS will stand for Poster Boy for Intelligent Design Stupidity. And you have earned that title, MP85. Wear it pr proudly because you have really earned that title. Um, time is really, really short here, so I was going to um, explain how a simple covalent bond between a nucleophilic oxygen in a hydro. In a hydroxyl group and an electrophilic phosphate can occur unassisted by a catalyst, which is an enzyme. But I don't have time to do this. Uh, y you f must first concede that um, we can overcome hydrogen bonding by heat. Uh, if you can't understand that, I, I, I can't really explain the finer points of chemistry to you. Or uh, This is not the finer point, this is uh, basic organic chemistry. This is semester one in uh, biology, chemistry, uh, molecular biology, chemical engineering, uh, basically any f 
thing that has anything to do with chemistry or biology. And for this chicken or the egg, I'm just going to refer you to Don Exodus 2 and how abiogenesis works, because it's really not about DNA replication. Life most likely started with RNA replication. RNA can replicate itself. RNA makes up ribosomes, and um, so you have the whole, the whole machinery from RNA uh, before you even have DNA. So sh check out that video. If, if you don't understand it, which you won't, come back and s ask me the questions and I will explain them to you. Well, take care PIDS. Have a good one.